what's up guys it's Somi Machu again from Somi Machu Productions and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some really cool nice sounding afro beats in FL studio so without further ado let's dive right into this section all right so um to proceed with this section I'm gonna be starting with my drums yeah I'm gonna start with my rim shots actually there are no rules to making beats you can actually start from anywhere but for me I like to start from my drums all right so we don't need these guys so I delete them off we don't need the ayat delete it off in the snare it's not needed I delete it off also all right so and then I'm going to change our BPM to 110 to have a mid tempo beat. Yeah, 110. Okay, 110. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing a pattern for my rim shot, a drum pattern which sounds like this. Um, Yeah, I hope you guys are feeling the vibes already. <coughs> Alright, so next up, I'm going to add my kick to enhance the rim shot. So, let's listen. yeah so it's it's coming up like we are able to build something so next up i'm gonna <coughs> add a percussion yeah so it's, let's listen Next, I'm gonna add another bunga to also enhance the first part of the question. Yeah. Yeah, so um we are already building up our Afro beats. Next up, I'm gonna add a shaker's loop. As you all know, an Afro beat is not really complete without having these shakers element because it's the shakers that actually make it an Afro beat, the shakers element. So I'm going to add a shakers loop, which sounds like this. So I'm going to actually add it to my song mode and play it along with my pattern I just created. So we're going to listen right away. But before we listen, I always want to make sure my shakers is sounding right on the BPM. Therefore, I'm going to chop off some parts of it just to make sure it is balanced on the BPM. So for this particular shakers, I already know where to cut off because I've used it before in some projects. So I'm going to add and duplicate what the part I've chopped off so um, after doing that we are going to listen in our song mode yeah sounding nice I'm going to reduce the shake as a bit with what we have right now we are 50% ready to getting our beats done next up i'm going to be bringing up a plugin called nexus to create a chord progression to the beat we just created 
and we're gonna take it to the next level so i'm gonna drag in the plugin yep i'm gonna select a guitar to play the chord progression and i'm gonna select a guitar called solitude you guys can check it out if you want to yeah it's under split and sequences so i'm gonna pick solitude yeah solitude and play a chord progression to our beat so i'm gonna open the piano roll and we are ready to create a chord progression for this project i'm gonna be creating a four one five progression which sounds like this so let's listen to what i just created i'm gonna add it to our song mode see it's making a lot of sense so i'm going to reduce the volume so as not to model up the mix all right so next up i'm going to add a marimba to it to play some vamps so i'm going to be using chroma phone to do that yeah so this chromophone i'm gonna open the piano roll and create some things out of it meanwhile i'm gonna add it to my sequencer page so that whatsoever i play will have real time effect on what we have here already so let's create some vamps yeah Alright guys, at this point, I'm going to be adding a muted guitar to give it some vibes and I'm going to be using a muted guitar from Comtat. Yeah, it's called Mute and Slap. Yeah, so I'm going to put the pattern where I want to play it right in my sequencer page. Alright, so let's play and create something out of it.
right next up we need to create a melody line for our beat so i'm going to go to the next pattern which is pattern five and add another plugin to create a melody line and i'm going to be using a sound called ukele it's under the category of guitars yes yeah, so i'm going to be using ukele yeah it is it and then let's see if we could create something out of it Alright, so I'll be adding add some other things to also spice up the melody line, which is sending it to my mixer track so as to add reverb and cut off some low frequency from it. I'm going to do that by, by sending everything I have here to the mixer. Alright, so you can see we have expand here already. What I'm going to do first is cut off the low frequency and boost the high frequency a bit. After that, I'm going to add some reverb. I'm going to be using fruity reverb too. Yeah, so I'm also going to reduce the amount of reverb I want on this channel. So let's take a listen. Alright guys, one more thing before I open up this section. We need to add a bass line to this beat to make it full enough. To do that, I'm going to be using a plugin called Hypersonic and I'm going to be using the sub bass in it all right so i'm going to type sub bass
baseline f- as simple as possible so i think i'm okay with this one i created just now so i duplicate it then let's listen in context <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for staying back till the end of the video. There are actually countless ways of making an Afrobeat, which this happens to be one of them. And I hope this was helpful. If it was, kindly click the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys. Peace out.